Hello folks, this is Norm the teacher and uh, today I'm going to do a video to show you how to take the uh, rear bumper off of a um, 98 Chevy truck um, because the reason I want to do that is I'm going to do some welding on the back bumper to install a new hitch and I don't want to do the, do the welding while it's on the vehicle. I ruined an alternator in another vehicle doing that once. So uh, try to avoid uh, electrical welding uh, on a vehicle. So anyway, here it is. Here's the bumper that uh, uh, I already have removed. And I'm going to show you what you have to do to remove it. And uh, this is what a 98 Chevy truck looks like. Here. In case you don't know the year of your truck, which I'm sure you do. Okay, so uh, what, you, what, what you're going to need in tools. Uh, you're going to need a, a ratchet with a 19 millimeter socket. And then you're going to need uh, a box end wrench. It's also 19 millimeter. And the box end wrench will be used to hold, to, to hold on to the nuts while you're undoing the bolt. Uh, because they're not fixed nuts. And then you're also going to need an 18 millimeter socket, but you won't need an open end wrench because the nuts on those 18 millimeter bolts are fixed. They're, they're welded to the uh, bumper. So they, they won't turn on you. Okay, so uh, here's the bumper. Oh, here. Okay, give you a zoom it in here. The two 18 millimeter bolts. There's actually four, two on each side. There's two of them right here, inside the bumper in here. Two 18 millimeter bolts. Those are the ones that have fixed nuts. And then, coming over here, there's a bracket here. It, it looks like actually part of the frame, but it's actually a bracket that's attached to the frame. That, that extends into the bumper here, and that's where the two 19 millimeter bolts are. There are some bolts that hold this bracket on back onto the frame. Don't undo those bolts. Uh, you could do that, do it that way, but don't do it that way because it makes it a lot easier to put your bumper back on. If this is sticking out here, when it's time to put the bumper on, you can just lay the bumper on top of here and you have something supporting it. If you take the bolts off back there, uh, you're going to have a heck of a time holding this thing up while trying to get the bolts uh, put back in. So again, Two 18 millimeters here, two 19 millimeters here, and then moving over here again. Here's the other bracket on the other side, the driver's side. Two 19 millimeters here, two 18 millimeters here, and I'm going to get under here and uh, show you those bolts. Get my dolly here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Jokey. Okay, here we are. Okay, these are the two 18 millimeters I was telling you about at the end of the uh, bumper. I have to move things around here because I'm filming with two cameras. Okay, so we want, uh, an 18 millimeter here and an 18 millimeter here with fixed nuts. Okay, then moving back here a little ways further chain I got to get out of the way here. There's the bracket. Now here's, these are the bolts I was telling you about that you could undo if you wanted to, but don't take the bracket off. Leave the bracket on so it sticks out and you have something to set the bumper on when it comes time to put it back on. So just remove the two 19 millimeter bolts here. And on the other side are the bolt heads. You'll have to hold uh, those bolt heads with the box end wrench um, so that it doesn't turn on you. Okay, then on the other side, same thing. Here's the uh, uh, 19, two 19 millimeters on that side. Oh, and also uh, this electrical connector here will have to be undone. This is a this is the to the light uh, your license plate light it lights up your license plate light. Don't forget to undo that. Okay, and then there's over here the uh, two. Um, 18 millimeters on that on the driver's side of the uh, bumper. Okay. 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 So, and then there from underneath, there's my hitch. 
Okay, now let's see. Now to get out of here, I'm glad this dolly rolls easily. The dolly I made from plywood. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll show you that real quick. Ugh. You know those dollies that you buy where the wheels, they, they, they never want to turn right? Well, I made one out of plywood and I just uh, put, you know, casters, caster wheels on. Right here. And it works pretty well. But I'm sure you're not interested in that right now, but there it is in case you want to make one. Made out of plywood. So there it is. Uh, Okay, now uh, you might be wondering what this strap is. My tailgate, uh, the, the latch on the tailgate doesn't work anymore. The tailgate always falls open. So while I had the bumper off, I welded on uh, this U-bolt. Uh, and, uh, and now I have a hook here that I can put a strap on. And I just attach the strap over here onto the, one of the holes in, on the box. And uh, that holds my front uh, my bumper real nice and snug. Yeah, so one of these days maybe I'll tear apart this bumper and see if I can fix uh, that uh, mechanism that's all corroded and rusted and won't latch anymore. So there it is, folks. I hope uh, this video is of some help to you on removing the rear bumper of a 98 Chevy truck and uh, I, uh, I'll see, uh, subscribe if you want to be notified of other videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on a 91 Mazda that I'm working on. And so uh, subscribe if you want to be notified of those and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.